Hello all. Now, as you may know from Name Explain, I love history. Um, obviously, I love language as a whole, but history is a specific part of like Name Explain. I really enjoy making videos about. So my love of history and my love of Lego don't really cross that much. I mean, sure, there's like history sort of based Lego sets like pirates and knights, but they're not you know the most accurate sort of bits. They're sort of just like based on the themes that depict actual history on the whole. I don't think. Um, but anyway, we finally have a combination of two, two of my favorite things combined. I'm so excited to finally get to share this with you guys. This is Brick History, as you can see. It's a book I was gifted for my birthday last year by my girlfriend's mother, which is really sweet of her, bless her. She clearly knows what I enjoy. But um, anyway, it's written by Warren Ellsmore. And yeah, it's, as it says on the front, amazing historical scenes to build from Lego. So it kind of doubles as both. It's an instruction booklet of how to build Lego, and it's also like a retelling of history. So let's take a look through it. As you can see there, that's the um, that's the murder of Julius Caesar in Lego form, which is really fun. Oh, what's that? So it's got like a big, a big empty thing on this side, apparently. Oh no, it's a huge poster of a like pirate ship slash building. That's really fun. That probably makes a lot more sense when you've read the whole book. But yeah, it comes with stuff like that in it. It's really cool. I haven't actually properly sat down and read it all yet, but um, I won't read it all here right now. But um, yeah, that's something I definitely will have to do. So that's all like the contents of it, all, all the bits. Lego and the Lego logo and bricks, knobs, configurations, and the big feel the trademark of the Lego group, which does not sponsor, authorize, or endorse this book. So this book isn't an official Lego book, um, but Lego seem pretty chill people doing stuff like this. So yeah, that's cool. Welcome to Brick History. So it's got like a little Mozart down there playing the piano. Could be Beethoven, could be either of them. Like sort of bit, a brick built Martin Luther King sort of portrait thing there, mosaic, really cool. And yeah, practice project. Okay, and so like I said, it's got building instructions in it as well, which is really cool for unofficial historic Lego builds. This is how to build like a little canoe and it just sort of starts as a practice project. We won't go through the entire book here, of course. The Battle of Oh, heavens. From Ferron Palais? Um, I don't know what that is, but anyway, I mean, like I said, I haven't read this yet. Look at that amazing build. Look at all the minifigures in it. So cool, the amazing landscape used to build it as well, even on this page as well. People falling to their death, something Lego probably wouldn't endorse. Because that's the thing with Lego, isn't it? They endorse modern warfare. That it kind of like change that a lot. They won't make actual guns, they won't make military based sets, but they do sort of very sort of somewhat similar stuff to it. That's fine, I'm cool with that. No hot takes here. Prehistoric and birth of civilization, that's the Big Bang made in mosaic form. Oh, dinosaurs. Obviously I'm sure you guys know I'm a huge lover of dinosaurs and this one was interesting it's using the new like Jurassic Park, Jurassic World, uh, actual minifig sort of dinos not the brick built ones because they did this really awesome brick built dinosaur years back i had it um i'm going to try and hunt that down again at some point i've probably still got the bricks at home if not it's fairly cheap on ebay yeah sort of cavemen and that's using like the caveman lego minifig um minifig collection ones so it does use a mix of like um established lego pieces but a lot of the set of pictures in here actually have um like molds they made so this is the first actual build. Obviously, it's not the most intense. It's the first clock, as you can see up there. Um, that's a really simple build. Is a lot of stuff in here is like sort of symbol sort of stuff, if that makes sense. It's not like minifig scale stuff. It's like human scale. The Aphian, the Moxies, that's really cool. As you can see there, that uses a lot of current pieces. Um, I like that beard. I think that's an Abraham Lincoln beard in brown. I don't know where that's come from, but clearly it's a piece that exists. The First Olympics, that's like a fun little statue of the First Olympics. It's a really fun read. The First Silk Road, Silk Route even, 206 BCE. Um, yeah, like I said, really cool stuff they have in here. Let's just kind of whiz on a bit. I don't want to show off the entire book because I feel naughty to the people who make it. That is the early maps and alphabets. That seems to be some like Chinese symbols you can build out of Lego. Like I said, it's not like, it's like sort of figurative builds like that. That's really cool, the Terracotta Army. Obviously they're not using minifigures. That'd be really cool if Lego, oh, I've just realized that'd be a really cool set. I might try and suggest that on ideas. Oh, so I just had a brainwave te Lego Terracotta Army figure set. That would be incredible. I might look for that actually, see if it exists somewhere. And yeah, Iron Age Civilization. As we see again, that's old Julius getting his comeuppance. 
Yep, the assassination of Julius Caesar. They seem to be a big fan of that bit. And it's a really cool sort of build. I like the cloth. Um, I think that's actual tissue paper they've used in that, not like Lego bits. It looks really fun anyway. You see, like, you can make yourself a Roman laurel wreath, which is just really fun. It even shows you, like, all the bits you'll need. It shows you how many, like, 10 of those, 9 of those, 21 of those, uh, 10 of those. It just shows you how to build it all as well. It's really cool. See, I like this sort of stuff. This is, like, nanofig building... I believe this is yeah. This is the bat. This is um the burial of Pompeii as they dub it as. This is like nanofig scale. I love nanofig scale builds. Um, there's a guy on Reddit called Big Manly Lego, and he does really, really, really cool nano um scale. Even smaller than nano scale. Really good like tiny builds of like sets and like depicting scenes, and they're just gorgeous. I think he's got one of Pompeii himself. Yeah, as you can see there, just like using the smallest amount of pieces to depict things. Like this is just like. A little one by one and a cheese slope just to um, depict a little house and it works so well I absolutely love I wish Lego did more of that sort of stuff coronation of Charlemagne like that's just more sort of nighty sort of stuff let's see how far oh here you go that's more like nano figs got sort of stuff they've just used like little tube and studs to depict Vikings annoyingly they aren't with horns which is annoying because Vikings had horns as we all know how to build a Viking shield. Yeah, it's like human scale stuff they show you how to build in here. I mean, it'd be really cool if they showed you how to build all this sort of stuff, but you know, I'm not too fussed. There's a, like a friend's hedgehog right there. You see that? I'm pretty sure that's a Lego friend's hedgehog. It looks like Lego friends. That's fine as well. Lego friends is awesome. More of that sort of stuff. Genghis Khan's Mongol Empire. It's like a little um, Mongolian hut. Early navigation. So like I said, it's sort of like human scale sort of stuff. That's really cool. That's I don't think it's exactly minifig scale, but it's a really cool little build, like more of an actual little display bit than like a bit to wave around. Like a compass. Renaissance and the Age of Empire. So is that like a, oh yeah, invention of the Gutenberg printing press. So yeah, like that's really cool. There actually is some minifigure scale stuff in here. I mean, that's just a painting. Oh, no, it's not all a painting. So it's a Lego character down here painting um, Michelangelo's Sistine Chapel ceiling painting, which is really fun. It's it's not a shame that's not made out of Lego because that'd be really awesome. Leonardo da Vinci's flying machine. That might be minifig scale. More sort of stuff there. Oh, that's really fun. Michelangelo's palette. That's a really cool sort of thing. And these are, like I said, they might be human scale, but Lego very rarely do human scale sort of builds like this. It's a really cool alternative build. I love how they use that like minifig stand as the green splodge as opposed to just the circle like they've done for the rest. That's really cool. Aztec Empire sort of stuff. Like a little uh, discovering the Hello Centrism. As you guys know, I'm not very good with pronunciation. The feet of the Spanish Armada. There's some really fun stuff in here. So that's like a real micro um, little Sir Francis Drake's Golden Hind Lego build ship. They're really fun stuff. The gum. Oh, the gunpowder plot. That's really cool. That's really fun, actually. I love how it's like the dual layer. So you've got the base, like below the Houses of Parliament here, then up here, like the Houses of Parliament itself, which is really awesome. I love Guy Fawkes' little drawing down there. See him looking all scared, being discovered. Really cool. Oh, there's Morgan. There's a close up of him. Some more info there on it. Oh, that's a big ship, the Mayflower. Um, what's really cool about that? is the brick built sails that's so cool you don't really get many brick built sails these days if at all they're normally cloth sails that's really cool to see one brick built and like look at all that blue that's just like little blue studs and tiles there to make up the sea really really cool the great fire of landan as they say in london um that's really cool that's what i'm just gonna be saying for all of this that's really cool oh look at the london townhouse that'd be really cool if that was mini fig scale that's just micro fig scale but um yeah, that's a really cool build. Sir Isaac Newton, that's a really fun like um, concept drawing. I love that face. I don't know where that face comes from, but I want it myself because that's kind of like my facial hair a little bit. <laughs> Just how to build an apple. Brilliant. Salem Witch Trials. You see what crap stuff like that from it. Crap stuff like that in history, which are really not fun. But, you know, history is the good, the bad and the ugly. You need to depict it all, otherwise you're not being true to history. So that's the big ship from the beginning, I believe. It starts the Boston Tea Party. So yeah, that's really cool. Here. 
American independence that sort of stuff, I don't think Lego... Well, I say Lego wouldn't depict, but they clearly made the minifigs and stuff to go with it. So they probably would, just not that graphically, like people being stabbed like this gentleman over here. Some cool sort of pirate stuff. The birth of the Industrial Revolution. Is that... No, I thought it was the Clifton Suspension Bridge, but it's not. I just saw the Clifton Suspension Bridge recently. Really fun. These sort of build... I'm not a big fan of this sort of scale. This is the scale they use at Legoland for their, like, mini world. I've never really quite liked these sort of figures. I get why they exist. They're quite cool sort of little builds. But I'd much rather things be minifig scale. I'm absolutely sucked for the minifig. I love the use of the croissant piece over there in white for the uh, mantelpiece. Really cool. More, wait, do we find out that Mozart or Beethoven? Yeah, Mozart. Uh, oh, the smallpox vaccines. If you ever want a Lego smallpox vaccine, you can build it in here. I'm going to try to skip through those. The Battle of Trafalgar. Wow, that's really cool. Yeah. Some really impressive stuff in here. A naval cannon. The Battle of Waterloo. So we're still getting our way through history. So, like I said, they use a mix of actual official Lego pieces and they use their own pieces. You can see here these little army guys have like not official Lego hats and that's fine you know that's what people do with Lego but yeah it's good that even they didn't let this book be stopped because it didn't have the right pieces Brunel oh the great yes yeah, that's Bristol related the great Western railway there's Brunel himself who's a really big figure in British history I'm not sure how well known he is outside of the UK but yeah that's him building the great Western railway there he is a bit closer up the man himself is about kingdom Brunel the gold rush Brilliant, just the pickaxe. Oh, oh, that's really fun. So I thought this was gonna be like a generic turtle, but it's to reflect the origin of species. So Darwin must be somewhere in here. No, it's just there. The first underground train, so that's like some interpretation of the original London Underground. That's really cool, that is really cool. I wish Lego did sets like this. And like I said, like you can just build these sets yourself, obviously you can't build these sort of ones. But it just shows what you can really do with Lego. I said I wasn't going to do the entire thing, but we seem to be looking through the entire thing. The American Civil War and the abolishment of slavery. That's really cool. Wow, that's an amazing build. Look how, like, green or the foliage had, like, I can't find the word for it. How, like, deep, is that the word I'm looking for? Dense. I'm looking for the word dense. How dense all the foliage in it. That's awesome. The invention of the telephone. The Gettysburg Address. Some fella there being covered up by the middle of the book. I just hit my glasses on a bit of the uh, tripod, so it might have just made a really loud sound. We'll find out later on. <laughs> Victorian England, look at that in the picture of Jack the Ripper. <laughs> With his evil red eyes, that's brilliant. Obviously, I don't think Lego would make a Jack the Ripper actual, actual Jack the Ripper set, because A, he was a murderer, and B, it involved prostitutes. I'm sure Lego don't want to depict uh, prostitutes. 20th century and beyond. Do, 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 do. All right, blubbers. Oh, that's really fun. So that is made up entirely of, obviously it's Einstein, like printed pieces, really fun. Like, I think that's a police sign, like an arrow sign. That's a really cool mosaic. I'm not really a fan of Lego mosaics. They do it in the London Lego shop. You can get like a mosaic of yourself. It's not something I'm really interested in. The <laughs> sinking of the Titanic. It's amazing how the whole Jack and God, I can't remember her name. Whatever her name is. Um, Story of the Titanic has resonated so much. I'm guessing that's supposed to be her. And I don't think... Did that actually happen? It's just... I've always found it interesting how the host of the Titanic... When you say it, people don't think of the actual tragedy that happened. They just think of that love story. And I don't know, maybe that's a bit disrespectful to history. Maybe that's just me being an old git. I don't think it really matters. And look, you can even build a little Titanic yourself. Not minifig scale. That would be humongous, of course. Women's suffrage movement, so that's really cool. Um, really interesting little depiction there. I love those houses behind them. Really good drawing there of, I'm guessing, this is just supposed to be a generic suffragette, Amy Pankhurst. I think it's just supposed to be a generic suffragette, but still, good on her. More depictions there. Construction of the Panama Canal. Oh look, that's using micro figs. That's a micro fig scale, really fun. I don't think they really have the right micro figs to depict these scenes. Because obviously micro figs are just printed, you can't really edit them. And that seems to be some sort of like G.I. Joe type character there. The Panama Canal steam shovel. He's, 
really odd stuff, but quite fun. Peace Treaty of Versailles. So interesting, you got, got straight to the Peace Treaty. The first talkies, that's really cool. Like, it could just be a normal cinema. But that's actually that they built into it. To the pic, like the black and white Lego. I don't know if that's just edited like with the camera or they've actually just found black and grey pieces. But that's really cool. I can't imagine, it would be really cool if it is, but I don't think they really do head heads in those colours. I'm not really aware of them. If they are, then awesome. And they just edited the photo. They might have just edited the photo. The discovery of penicillin. Wow. So yeah, that's just like a little bit of bacteria you could build out of Lego. Probably one of the few things in Lego that would be bigger than it is in real life. Way bigger, way, way, way bigger. You can <laughs> you can build a Lego Gundy thanks to this book. It's not microfig scale. That's awesome. Discovery of this is a really fun build. Really colourful. That's really cool. And there's that thing we saw at the beginning, the uh, mosaic of Martin Luther King. Really awesome. Landing on the moon. I love that brick built American flag. That's really cool. Um. Yeah, normally with flags, as we saw earlier with the sail ships, they just use cloth, but really cool to see a brick built one. I think I've just said that's really cool to all of this. How are we getting on? The fall of the Berlin Wall, that's a really, that just makes sense to be made out of Lego. You know, Lego is used to make walls and to be built up and built down again. You can see how they've used all this Lego uh, pieces just thrown down here that depict it being broken down. Look at this, oh, oh, is that supposed to be who I think it is? Is that supposed to be the Hoff himself singing the wall down? <laughs> I thought it was just supposed to be a cool guy, then it clicked that's supposed to be Hasselhoff. <laughs> See, it's just got really neat little touches like that in it. The Nelson Mandela becomes president of South Africa, so you can make a Lego voting box, which is quite fun, I guess. And yeah, that is Hong Kong. Hand, oh, the Hong Kong handover. So that's like a micro scale build of Hong Kong. Like I said, I absolutely love micro scale stuff. It reminds me of um, the Lego architecture line. I absolutely adore those sort of sets. I just need to get go to more places so I can justify buying the sets. That's how I see it in my head. <laughs> really fun. And of course, we end with the inauguration of Barack Obama. There he is there. There's his wife, Michelle. There's everyone watching. Well, I say we end with that. I might be lying. There might be more to it. Oh no, of course, we end with the Royal Reading of Prince William and Catherine Middleton. Um, yeah, if you're into the royalty, I guess. I'm not massively. But yeah. There's more, there's... Oh, there she is. There's old Queenie herself there. Looking dapper in yellow. And wow, look at that build. That's just like a huge cathedral build. That's awesome. There's even some jesters. I don't know if you can see jesters down here, which is really fun. Yeah, we're at the end. So yeah, just thought I'd share that with you guys. Now, I remember there being one building here in particular that I really want to share with you guys. Where is it? Did I just skip through the one part I wanted to actually share? I've overhyped it now, haven't I? Let's have a look, shall we? Pickaxe, Darwin. Hmm, maybe I did, maybe I imagined it. Got the Ripper, 20th century and beyond. That is really peculiar. I have a specific memory of a specific set that they like build. Maybe I imagined it, maybe it was all just the dream. No, there it is. <laughs> they show you how to build a uh, communist hammer and sickle, which, <laughs> did I skip that last time? But like, yeah, like I said, like this is stuff definitely Lego definitely wouldn't do because I don't think they really cover politics in this sort of way. I know a lot of people have like, love sort of communism, that sort of thing, like sort of, I think it's kind of meme -y communism. <laughs> Just like the fact they include it. I myself have a big love of um, Russian history, so I got a big chuckle out of this when I first saw it. But anyway, that's more or less the entire book. I feel really bad for showing off that because I feel like if you've watched this, they won't get the actual book themselves and they really should do. Um, this is a really, really fun book. Like I said, I haven't actually read it through myself yet, but I just recommend it to anyone who's interested in history, in Lego, wants to see some fun builds, want to learn some history in an easy to digest way, because this is the book for you. 
um, this video is almost hitting 20 seconds, 20 seconds, Ugh, 20 minutes now, which is way too long for a video. Who's going to watch this? Anyway, guys, take care.